Hello, I'm Daniil and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to inspiration, information, education, guidance, advice. And at the time of this recording, we just finished the first couple of days of Pesach, Passover, where we had the seders. I'm hoping that those watching had a good, kosher, enjoyable uh, beginning to the Passover season, some good seders. And it's with the seder in mind uh, that I want to mention something that was brought to my attention uh, by a very dear friend of mine. Um, it, it's about uh, the first Ger Rebbe, the first of the Ger uh, Hasidic dynasty, this Yitzhak Meir altar. Uh, and um, he comments with respect to something that appears to him to be a little unusual with the Seder. First we start with the Matzah, the unleavened bread, and then later we have the Maror, the bitter herbs. The matzah, the, the unleavened bread, is a symbol of freedom from slavery. The maror, the bitter herbs, uh, remind us of the bitterness of slavery. And uh, the Ger Rebbe seemed to think that um, the order should be around. First you have the bitterness of slavery and then you have the enjoyment, the realization of freedom. Uh, and then he answers his own question. He says, no. So we start off with the slavery because during the course of slavery, um, it dulls our senses. We, for, black, for lack of a better word, we, we get used to it. We become numbed. Uh, we become desensitized to the bitterness and the hardship. Uh, and we, we get used to it. There's an old saying, God save us from what we can get used to. Eventually, we, we, we forget. Uh, and in the worst case scenario, we even forget that we're slaves. When redemption comes and when the light turns on, uh, it's when we wake up that we remember um, the bitterness. Once we're free, we remember the bitterness. So that's why we have to have the matzah first. And then uh, once we, we're awakened, we, uh, we appreciate uh, the bitterness of, uh, of what, we, uh, what we suffered uh, as slaves. Uh, in Egypt and later on in our history um, at one of the Passover seders. Um, a very good friend of mine, Julius Sis, uh, told the story of when his father was a slave uh, in the uh, concentration camps uh, in, um, in Europe during the Holocaust. And um, for him at the Passover seder when he said, um, this is the uh, this is slavery. This is bitterness. It wasn't an abstract concept uh, to this man. He was a slave. He was experienced bitterness. He sold his boots so that he could have a, a a small piece of bread, and he hid it under his armpit and ate a little bit uh, throughout the day so he, he could last. And he had his. Uh, Shoe, his feet bound up with like burlap and, and newspapers to, uh, to keep warm. And this bitterness, this maror, where uh, the Haggadah says that we're each of us to, 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 to view it as we, are, we are, uh, ourselves were redeemed from slavery. From, for some of us, it's a tough act. For others, sadly, the memories are all too clear. Uh, this uh, point was uh, brought out by Yitzhak uh, Meir, the uh, first Ger Rebbe, who was a very close disciple of the Kotzka Rebbe, Menachem Mendel of Kotsk. Uh, the story was, uh, uh, came to me via another uh, Yitzhak Meir. Uh, you may know him as um, Rabbi Michael Skobak. Um, he brought this to my attention, and this Passover it was uh, particularly poignant. Uh, to me. So let's uh, keep both ideas in mind. 
the, the joy of freedom, the freedom that so many of us enjoy in uh, the Western world, Canada, the United States, Britain, Australia. Um, but at the same time, um, the lives of so many of us are embittered uh, by persecution, by threats, by terrorists, uh, by those who want us dead. It's freedom that reminds us uh, of bitterness <clears throat> and the bitterness that reminds us of slavery. They go together. And um, let's keep this in mind. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Immuno Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.